Math 6, Quarter 1, Week 8, Milk Base. Let's learn about Problem Solving Involving Multiplication of Decimal Numbers and Money. Lesson 3. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about problem solving involving multiplication of decimal numbers and money. We are now in Lesson 3 of Week 8. For most essential learning competencies, solves multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving division of any of the other operations of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving division and any of the other operations of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. The different steps that you have learned in the previous lessons on how to solve problems will help you to go through with the different types of multi-step routine and non-routine problems. Let us start our discussion by doing this activity. Learning Task 1 Complete the given questions. Write your answer in your notebook. Lawrence is a businessman. Every last week of November, he deposits 82,920 pesos and 50 centavos for the Christmas bonus of his employees. Each employee receives 6,378 pesos and 50 centavos. How many employees are there? First question is, what is asked in the problem? Very good! The number of employees. Second question, what are the given facts? Very good! The given facts are 82,920 pesos and 50 centavos and 6,378 pesos and 50 centavos. Third question, what operation will be used? Very good! The operation to be used is division. Fourth question, what is the number sentence? Very good! The number sentence is 82,920 pesos and 50 centavos divided by 6,378 pesos and 50 centavos. And fifth, solve and find the correct answer. 82,920 pesos and 50 centavos divided by 6,378 pesos and 50 centavos. First, move the decimal point to decimal places to the right of the dividend. The same procedure to the divisor. Move decimal point to decimal places to the right. And now, both dividend and divisor are whole numbers. So the answer is 13. There are 13 employees who receives 6,378 pesos and 50 centavos. To create a word problem, analyze the way you would solve it yourself. Use the given data stated in forming a question and decide on the best method or solution to use to get an answer. Example, create problem using the data given. Here is the data. 12,528 guavas harvested, 24 guavas in a basket, total number of baskets used. And the answer is, there are 12,528 guavas harvested. Each basket has 24 guavas. What is the total number of baskets used? 
And now, let's proceed to learning task 2. Create problem solving using the data given. Write your answer in your notebook. Here is the given data. 1,275 pesos, total sales in selling newspaper. And 25 pesos, cost of a newspaper. And here is my example problem. Mr. Cruz sold newspaper with total sales of 1,275 pesos. How many newspapers were sold if each newspaper cost 25 pesos? And the solution is 1,275 pesos divided by 25 pesos equals 51 newspapers. 51 newspapers were sold. Number 2. Here is the given data. 13 children, 117 apples. Apples are divided equally. And here is my example problem. Mother bought 117 apples. She divided them equally for her 13 children. How many apples did each child receive? And here is the solution. 117 apples divided by 13 children equals 9. Each child will receive 9 apples. For learning task 3, solve the given problems. Write your complete solutions in your notebook. Number 1. Lauren has 60 pens stored in boxes. If there are 5 boxes, how many pens must go in each box? Divide 60 pens by 5 boxes. 60 divided by 5 equals 12 pens in each box. Number 2. Orum is inviting 16 friends to a party. He has 64 cakes. How many cakes will each friend get? Divide 64 cakes divided by 16 friends. And the answer is 4. 4 cakes will be given to each friend. Number 3. Art's rectangular garden is 25 and 5 tenths meters long and 18 and 5 tenths meters wide. If his fence needs paws that are 2 meters apart, how many paws does he need? And here is the formula. Perimeter equals 2 times length plus width or 2 meters, open and close parentheses, 25 and 5 tenths plus 18 and 5 tenths. Let's add first 25 and 5 tenths plus 18 and 5 tenths equals 44. Now multiply 2 times 44 equals 88 meters. Then divide 88 meters divided by 2 meters equals 44. He needs 44 paws for his fence. Number 4. The gross sales in selling sweet potato is 2,450 pesos. Each kilo of sweet potato costs 12 pesos and 50 centavos. How many kilos of sweet potato were sold? Divide 2,450 pesos, which is the gross sale in selling sweet potato, divided by... 12 pesos and 50 centavos, the cost per kilo of sweet potato, equals 196 kilos. 196 kilos of sweet potato were sold. Number 5. Mr. Abner buys 12 gallons of pale green paint to do up the exteriors of his home. He is billed a total of 7,199 pesos and 40 centavos for his purchase. How much each gallons cost? Divide 7,199 pesos and 40 centavos, which is his bill, divided by 12 gallons, equals 599 pesos and 95 centavos each gallons cost. A multi-step routine problem solving involves using two or more arithmetic operations to solve problems that are practical in nature. A multi-step non-routine problem is any complex problem 
that require some degree of creativity or originality to solve. It is typically do not have an immediately apparent strategy for solving the problems because it can be solved in multiple ways and it requires hot questions. And for our last activity, learning task 4. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. I am thinking of a number. Trice my number minus 8 equals 88. What is my number? Letter A, 26. B, 28. C, 30. D, 32. To get the answer, you have to add first 88 plus 8. 88 plus 8 equals 96. Divided by 3 equals 32. So the answer is letter D, 32. Number 2. The mass of a plastic container together with 24 baseball is 19 and 25 hundreds kilograms. If the mass of the container is 15,770 grams, what is the mass of each baseball in kilogram? Is it A, 145,000 kilograms? B, 151,000 kilograms? C, 158,000 kilograms? And D, 166,000 kilograms? Now, to get the answer, you have to subtract 19 and 2500 kilograms minus 15 and 7700 kilograms and then divide by 24. So the answer is letter A, 145,000 kilograms. Number 3. Mang Cedric brought two bags of garlic to market. One bag weighed 8 kilograms and the other bag weighed 6 and 5 tenths kilograms. He repacked the garlic in plastic bags of 2,500 kilograms per pack and sold each pack for 43 pesos and 75 centavos. How much will he get if all the packs were sold? Is it A. 2,237 pesos and 50 centavos B. 2,337 pesos and 50 centavos C. 2,437 pesos and 50 centavos and D. 2,537 pesos and 50 centavos To get the answer, you have to add 8 kilograms plus 6 and 5 tenths kilograms and divide the sum by 25 kilograms times 43 pesos and 75 centavos equals The answer is letter D 2,537 pesos and 50 centavos. Number 4. 5 mangoes and 1 apple cost 77 pesos and 50 centavos. 1 mango and 5 apples cost 111 pesos and 50 centavos. How much does each mango cost? Is it A. 10 pesos and 50 centavos. B. 11 pesos and 50 centavos. C. 12 pesos and 50 centavos and D 13 pesos and 50 centavos so let's analyze the problem the cost of mango each is 11 pesos and 50 centavos and each apple cost is 20 pesos 5 mangoes is 57 and 50 centavos plus 1 apple cost 20 pesos is equals to 77 pesos and 50 centavos which is the 5 mangoes and 1 apple. Next, 1 mango is 11 pesos and 50 centavos plus 5 apples cost 100 pesos. 11 pesos and 50 centavos plus 100 pesos equals 111 pesos and 50 centavos, which is the cost of 1 mango and 5 apples. The question is, how much does each mango cost? So that means, each mango costs... 11 pesos and 50 centavos. Letter B is the correct answer. And for number 5, Samuel caught 3 big fish weighing 20 and 5 tenths kilograms, 15 and 25 hundreds kilograms, and 18 and 75 hundreds kilograms. He kept 13 and 25 hundreds kilograms for his family. 
and delivered the rest equally in five markets in Lucena City. How many kilograms was delivered to each market? Is it A, 13 and 75 hundreds kilograms, B, 10 and 50 hundreds kilograms, C, 8 and 25 hundreds kilograms, or D, 6 and 875 thousands kilograms? So to get the answer, let's add 20 and 5 tenths kilograms plus 15 and 25 hundreds kilograms plus 18 and 75 hundreds kilograms. Then subtract the sum to 13 and 25 hundreds kilograms, which is for his family. Then divide by 5, which is the 5 markets, equals 8 and 25 hundreds kilograms. So the answer is letter C. 8 and 25 hundreds kilograms. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!